And let's go back to the left leg. You're going to lift the thigh bone up, keep even weight in both sits bones, and start to lengthen the left leg, the left shin and foot forward. Kind of to little quad extends. So this is quadricep is the front part of your thigh bone, and the quads are your knee extensors. And you're going to just see if we can do five more little pulses. No rotation off the hip. And if your leg is fairly low here, that's fine too. You don't have to lift it very high, but do not drop it to straighten it. So if you find your, your lift here, rather not straighten it all the way. Then going down like this and straightening it down, right? So the thigh bone stays very stable wherever it is, just finding that tiny lift and learning and noticing the, the connection between your hip extension, sorry, your knee extension and your pelvis wanting to roll back. Right? Can I stay anteriorly in my pelvis? And that is now a conversation that your hamstrings and your quads and your hip flexors have to have. Okay, take a little feel into this. And then we're going to do the other side. So sits bones back, kidneys back. I'm, I'm having a slight forward moment in my head and, and rib cage here. And then we're lifting the right leg up. And you're going to do tiny leg extends. So the shin and the foot are lifting up. And depending on your hamstring length, strength, quad strength, hip flexor strength, you might go less than this. That's okay. If you want, if this is super duper easy for you, you can put a ankle weight on your foot, two pounds, don't go further than that, but then go really slow. Even weight in both sitting bones. Let's do this one more time. And release. Beautiful. All right.